Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in and being here today. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I hope you'll find these tutorials helpful for you. Today we're going to paint a fun perspective of looking up to the sky. And so we're going to paint some trees here at an angle like this. And then very simple background, not too much color, um, keeping it pretty light so that our trees can stand out. Let's go straight to it and go over the materials needed for today. I'm using a 16 by 20 inch canvas here. It's gallery style, so it's a lot thicker on the sides. And uh, the reason why I like gallery is because it's easier to work with and it's just a better quality in my opinion. I always prefer going with that. And actually, I partnered with Fredericks and we are launching soon my own line of canvases that will be out on Amazon soon. So stay tuned for that and they'll be available for you guys soon. There's gonna be uh, 16 by 20s and 18 by 24s in the gallery style canvas. For brushes, we need a couple of these blending brushes. They're exactly the same. I, I like to use two because one, um, I like to lay my colors down first, right? And then the second one to blend everything in working dry. We need some of these artist loft brushes. This is number eight. And then this is a number four. Any half an inch flat brush. any detail brush for the details and an artist sponge which I like to use for my leaves and and you know far away little branches and I'll show you how to use that for paint I'm gonna use my new 24 set of acrylics here and I'll show you which colors I'm gonna use straight from this box okay we're gonna use titanium white lemon yellow orange, scarlet, emerald green, viridian, hooker's green, burnt umber, gray, and lamb black. Also, I'd like to remind you that these new acrylics are available on Amazon and my website as well, if you're interested in them. But any acrylics will do for this tutorial, um, going off of the colors that I have here, but you could totally mix your own shades and of green, of oranges and uh, you know browns and, and create your own way of uh, painting. There's no right or wrong. This is supposed to be a, having a lot of fun and experimenting and um, you know, just, having fun creating and painting. So take your time, take breaks. I wanna remind you that it's okay to come back to it the next day. You don't need to finish all of it in one day um, and have fun with this, okay? We need a water jar, some paper towels, and I'm using a pallet paper over my pallet. It saves time. Um, once I'm done, I just bunch it up and throw it away. And a pallet knife to mix your paint. And if you have a hairball dryer to dry out your first coats, go ahead and use it. But if you don't, that's okay. Acrylics dry pretty quickly, so you can, while you clean your blending brushes, um, you can, it should, you know, mostly be dry. Um, so take a break and wait for that to happen before adding more layers. But that's it for all these materials. And if you are, again, interested in anything that I'm using here today, uh, there's links to them down below in the description you'll find. Let's pick up our palette now and we're gonna start with the furthest distance, which is the sky, and work our way up closest. So we're gonna cover pretty much the whole canvas really quick. And like I said, we're not gonna make it too colorful. So let's pick up our titanium white first and create about four or five colors, okay? So titanium white here, and I like to start in the corner, and I'm gonna squeeze about this much, about two thumbs amount, okay, and then maybe a little less each time. Let's do one more right here, a little less each time. So you could see gradually it gets a little less. Now let's pick up our lemon yellow and we're gonna add a little bit here, not too much, okay? Very small amount right there. 
And let's pick up our scarlet and add also a little bit here, not too much, okay? Very small amount. And then viridian. Let's add a little bit here and then maybe a little more here. Okay. And then the last one, gray. And I'm going to add it about this much, about the same amount, you can see. Let's pick up our palette knife and start mixing with the lightest color here. And they're going to be very light. So this one's going to have a nice glow of that yellow. That's good right there. Okay, next should be bright, light pink. So it's a little bit too dark, so I might actually add a little bit of more white in there, okay? So I'm going to do that real quick, because I don't want it to be too dark. I want this guy to be pretty light. Touch right there. Let's mix it all in. That's much better. Made it lighter. Okay. Next. Right there. Our fourth color here should be darker. That's good right there. And our final color should be a light gray. And we are ready to start laying these colors down onto our sky. And what I'm going to do is actually put a little pile of white here because I might need to use some, you know, on some areas, okay? But use the colors of our background sky, okay? All right, let's pick up our water here and one of our blending brushes. We're going to dab it all the way in the water, okay, and then squeeze it out, but not all the way. Make sure you have some water in the brush, about this much, so, so that water won't drip, but there is some water still inside, okay, so that we won't have too much. And now, what we're going to do, um, so, for example, I'll show you, and this is once you get the technique down, it becomes easier because this part and you could if you'd like you could um, take a look at this real quick because actually blending is a fast process and you work a little bit faster so um, you know if you want to take a look how I do this real quick um, and uh, check it out if it's easier for you but so I squeeze it if I squeeze it very hard so I pretty much don't have water in here right but I don't want that I want to squeeze it like this much, because this much means about like, you see, here's a, here's a little bit of water in there, but we don't want it to be like completely, you know, like this, then it's hard to make your canvas run smoothly. And you, sometimes you have to practice, but once you get the technique down of how much water you need here, about this much, all right? And now that we have enough water there, we can pick up our first color, and let's just start with white. See, I added some white. Let's just, you see, I have water in my brush. You could see it with the paint. Um, I'm gonna pick all this white up and it's gonna run smoothly. So I'm gonna add it randomly, add it right in here. You could see my water, I still have water in here and it's running very smoothly. 
with the white and so let's just add some in here for fun and all over let's we're trying to cover our canvas this is the base coat so add your white like this now next color I'm gonna dab my brush in the water and this is what I do I just dab it lightly like this and I don't squeeze it I don't pull it all I don't put the brush all the way in just the tip in the water like this and then I pick up more paint which is the yellow and let's add the yellow randomly here mix it in with the white it's okay maybe some in here maybe you know some in the bottom here who knows take all that yellow and add some in here okay mix it in with the white okay all right so next let's dab a brush lightly in the water maybe I'll add some in here okay next dabbing my brush in the water and I'm gonna use let's use this color next because it's a little bit lighter than the pink one and let's add it right in here maybe some in here maybe in here it's okay if you cover a little bit of the white that's fine and then maybe some in here now a lot of this is going to be covered um, so I'm going to dab my brush in the water with the trees but so don't focus too much on this this is a quick process so let's add the pink I want it to be pretty light here see I feel it. it's a little bit harder so I'm gonna dab my brush in the water because it's not running smooth you're supposed to feel it like this that it's so it can run smooth right so just cover everything it doesn't have to be perfect so I'm gonna dab my brush in the water pick up this pink and I'm gonna bring it all the way down I like this pink I'm gonna cover this area with pink okay this is our base coat right there and stop right there okay so now I'm gonna dab my brush in the water and use this green and let's add the green here you know maybe bring the green down right in here with the pink maybe some in here lightly and I think the gray let's add the gray on the bottom right in here let's make this a little bit darker in here and I'm gonna lightly blend it all in like this now I have some colors left here I'm gonna use these so I think that's good enough for now but I'm gonna blend everything in you could see it's all messy right now so I'm gonna and my canvas is pretty wet but it's not too wet you know you don't see water dripping right so I'm gonna put my blending brush down and pick up my second blending brush which is dry and work very dry and I'm gonna start from the lightest area and lightly press press the colors very I'm like barely pressing the canvas right and I'm blending all those colors in together nicely so I'm gonna I'm working where the light lightest area is you could see right and don't worry about making it perfect like the once we had the branches and things you know in the background it'll all you know look very nice so you actually don't need to worry about trying to have it blend very perfect you want to barely press and don't worry about some of the um, hairs that might come off from the brush that's very natural don't worry about that leave it on there because once the painting is dry you can easily scratch it off and it comes out without damaging anything so focus on blending right now lightly press those beautiful colors down try not to bring the darker colors to the lighter area where you added the lighter areas okay so I'm barely pressing and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to bring the darks down too much so cover your lighter areas you could see the paint is ev evenly spread and you don't want to have a, a place where it's bunched up too much so make sure when you lay the 
paint down, make sure it's all even everywhere because then it makes it easier to blend. So I'm going to go back here and finish this area before I go to the pink. I'm barely pressing, I'm not trying to bring that too much of the dark down. Okay, there you go. And you could walk around and move around, you know, I'm painting sideways, so it's a little bit difficult for me, like, um, so you guys can see what I'm doing, but you can move around and do this part quickly while the paint is still a little wet. Okay. There you go. You see a nice smooth blend, very nice, like you could kind of see the glow and some of the color in the sky. That's what we want. We want a lot of color because you might not see it, but actually there's a lot of color in the sky when there's a little bit of mist or fog or some clouds, you know what I mean? And usually in the woods, it's like that. So I always like to add some color. So you could see a very nice, simple blend of the background. And we're going to let this dry and quickly wash our brushes. Okay, my brushes are clean and I gently clean them out with a paper towel as well to fluff them back up. And then um, I got my new water here and my canvas is pretty much dry and I just used the hair bow dryer to quickly dry everything out. And remember the hair that I showed you here, sometimes you'll get one or two every now and then, but once you're done blending and everything is dry, it really is easy. See, it's almost, sometimes the hair bow dryer just blows them away, but sometimes it's like, you just scratch it off and peel it off gently and it doesn't damage, doesn't do anything to the canvas and you're good to go. All right, so we got the base background done. You could see a little bit of the color going on there in the sky. And now we're gonna have fun sketching out first probably the trees where we want them to be, all right? And then from there, we'll, we'll be adding some details and branches using our artist sponge. All right, let's mix our colors here. So. I added burnt umber a little bit here and then a little bit more here and a touch of black. And then remember some of these colors that we have left here, I'm gonna use them so that I won't, you know, let it go to waste. So for the first color, I'm just gonna pick up the green right here, leftover green, put it in here, maybe some of this pink. The other ones, I used them all up. So use what you can, like about there. It doesn't really matter. We just want to, like a brighter color, like a brighter brown color. Okay. That's good right there. And then this one, I'm gonna use this gray and mix it in with this color here. It should be darker, darker gray. We'll use this as base. It's all about layers. And then we added our first background layer of the sky. And now we're going to add our first layer of our trees with these colors, okay? Just two right now. And that's all you need. And I always like to do this. I like to clean my palette knife so that paint won't get, you know, bunched up and dry quickly like this. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Just like this. All right, now let's pick up our half an inch brush here and dab it all the way in the water so it can run smooth and squeeze it out so it can be nice and damp. And let's start off with adding our biggest one, biggest trees first. So let's just use this darkest color. You can see I have a little bit of water on my brush, but that'll help me, um, that'll actually help uh, to, to run the canvas. You know, it'll run smoother. Okay, just like this. And I'm gonna draw the tree starting from, probably from like right in here. Okay, and I'm gonna go up all the way Let's go up in here, probably. All the way up in here, like this. And let's just bring it down somewhere right there. 
Okay, and then it'll probably go down and end somewhere right in here. So let's just bring it down. I want to make it a little bit bigger, like this, and have it go all the way. And you want to, because we're looking up, this side is going to be, um, you know, bigger, obviously. And as it goes up, it's going to get smaller. So something like this, okay? And we're going to cover everything with this color. So I dab my brush in the water so it can run smooth. And we're just going to cover everything. This is our base coat, so don't worry about trying to make it perfect. We're just sketching our tree out first. So I'm going to dab my brush in the water so it can run smooth. And put it all in there. Damming my brush in the water, picking up the same color, and I'm going to cover all this. It doesn't have to be perfectly covered. Okay, you could see I didn't cover it perfectly. That's okay. We don't need it to be perfect. This is our base coat. Basically, what we're trying to do is the only thing I would recommend is actually, as you go up, make it lighter. So let's just use this gray. Let's use this gray. And let's add this lighter gray on top right in here. Obviously, we'll go over everything, but For now, I'm going to dab my brush in the water. For now, this will give us an idea of you know, how our tree will look, right? Something like that. Okay, we've got our sketch of that tree and We'll work on it and make it a little bit more, you know, detailed. Like, for example, like I want it to bend here a little bit and make it more interesting. I'm going to dab my brush in water so it can run smoothly. And I'm going to do that bend. Something like this. And I want to do it here as well. I don't want to make it too straight. something like that all right that's good enough for that tree let's dab our brush in water and do use the same color and do another one these are going to be our biggest trees right so let's just do another one I want to like have it come off right here right and I'm gonna go about I'm going to have it end about right here and have it come down something like this, okay? And then and it's going to go like this. 
this off center. See, we want to make it look nice and interesting. So let's add this color, still using this color. Dab my brush in the water. And don't spend too much time on this because we're just shaping our tree first. I'm gonna add more details to it later. And then as you go up, do the same thing, use the gray as you did with that one. Gray and some water. Okay, continue doing that. All right, something like that. And I think I'm gonna have it even go a little bit further up and bend maybe up here on top. Now there's gonna be like branches and things on top, so don't worry about completing it yet. So I think I'm going to fix this and make it a little bit thicker here. Something like this. All right. Now let's do the same thing using the same color right here with water and I'm going to add one right in here. I'm going to add one about right in here and have it also go up but it's going to fade away so let's have it fade away like somewhere in there because of the fog and I'm going to have it be about this big and about this big. So cover everything with the same color. And then right in here, you want to go lighter. So maybe use the gray and water helps, you know, water helps. So I'm going to clean my brush so I won't carry too much of the darks because I really want to have the color fade in to the top. So. What I'm going to do is actually add a little bit of white right now. Not too much. And then use this, you know, this gray color and some white, right? And let's add it right in here. We want to fade it into the sky somewhere in there. That's good enough right there. And now we can use this color next. Dab it in the water. And we'll add a few more further back. So this one's going to fade as well. Something like this. And I'm going to use some white because I want it to fade into the sky. Dab it 
dab it in the water and use a little bit of this white and then this color okay put it all in there I'm going to clean my brush out so I won't have too much paint. Dry it onto the paper towel and just take away some of this color. There. Clean my brush in the water, dry it onto the paper towel so it's nice and damp and I'm going to blend that in really quick like this. All right, and now I'm gonna use the same color and let's add a few more. Let's add one that is going to be right in here maybe and it'll fade out somewhere. We want it still at an angle maybe. make this one about this big use a little bit of some white and do the same idea have it fade out somewhere. And this is a sketch we're obviously going to come back to this later. But about this, right? About about this many tre trees. I don't want to overdo it and cover too much because there's going to be branches and things around, right? But for now, I am happy with what I've got and I will come back and add more details later. But this gives me an idea of what I need to, where I need to add, um, you know, my branches and trees with the artist sponge, okay? Let's mix some color and start adding some green shades and some branches of our trees. Okay, so I added, you know, onto these colors because again, I don't wanna throw these colors away, right? So I added uh, emerald green and lemon yellow here, just a little bit, okay? And then hooker's green and lemon yellow here. I'm going to mix it in with the uh, other colors that we have. And it should give me like a shade of green. This one should be a little bit of a, you know, lighter green um, color, right? We don't want it to be too strong. That's why I didn't mind mixing it with my brown color. I want it to be kind of subtle. And um, we're going to add, you know, a layer of these colors and then we'll add some more colors on top of it and the more we add of the different greens and different maybe a little bit of orange shades to our branches the more the trees look interesting so about there okay that's good enough and then for this one I'm gonna mix it all in and it should give me a darker green even if it leans towards, yeah, that's great. It's still green. We want it to be a little bit green, but not too strong. And that's why it's nice to have that burnt umber mixed in there because it's, you know, it makes it more softer, not a strong color, not so vibrant, you know? We don't want it vibrant yet. Okay, that's nice right there. All right, we got two colors. Let's start off with that first, and we're gonna create our branches first, and then we'll add more, okay? So artist sponge, and I'm gonna put it all the way in the water, and then squeeze it out completely. So it could be 
you know, nice and damp, right? And soft, like this, okay? Yeah, but it doesn't have a lot of water in there. Okay, and then choose a corner. This is where you can squeeze. You can see if I squeeze, you can see some smaller, you know, shapes, you know, and patterns. If you leave it big, it'll create bigger patterns, right? If you're working big on the bigger canvas, this might be even perfect. But when you're working smaller and you want the branches to be smaller, you squeeze it a little bit smaller, you know, and, and lightly press, okay? So play around with, with the artist sponge. Find your corner that you like and move it around and see what works best for you, all right? So um, let's start off with the... Um, let's start off with the darkest color here. So I'm gonna use one corner. I'm not gonna pick up too much paint. I don't want a lot. So I'm gonna kinda take a little bit, right? And then dab it onto my um, palette here. I wanna see how it looks. And then once I have enough, like this, okay? Um, now I'm gonna go back and now I'm gonna start adding the details. So branches and things. So I'm gonna squeeze it a little bit because we're on top and I'm gonna start adding where I think there could be branches, okay? Something like this. All right, and then maybe here, it kind of goes off to the side. Okay, that's good enough. Now I'm gonna take more. And lightly, not too much. You don't wanna overdo it. Even if you go over the trees that we just painted, that's fine, do it. This is, these trees are the first layers. It gives us an idea. You know, that's why we did that. So, so I'm gonna lightly see if I press lightly, it gives me a nice small, smaller ones, smaller leaves and things. But if I press harder, it's gonna give me bigger ones. So play around, there is no right or wrong. So I'm gonna make this area dark and balance it out, see for yourself, you know, like some areas could be a little darker and some areas could be lighter. Like keep, keep some of the light going from the background. All right, we don't wanna cover everything of our background, but I'm gonna dab some right in here and have it fade out like this. Maybe there's a tree somewhere in here as well. Okay, something like that. And then let's Add some right in here. And that's basically what I'm doing. I'm using my corners of the sponge and I'm lightly pressing, not too much. I'm not trying to overdo it. Okay, and cover this area. All right, that's good right there. Moving on, let's add some in here. Barely pressing. And follow your patterns, you know, follow the shape of how, you know, Im imagine, imagine how the leaves might look, right? So let's add some right in here. And this one's gonna fade out. and we'll continue. I want this area to be pretty light going up, so I'm not gonna add too much of this darker one, but mainly on the bottom here. This is gonna be covered mostly here. Not too much of the background is gonna be showing because of this big tree here, so um, I'm gonna have it, you know, fade out like somewhere in here, like this. But then cover most of this, with this green. Maybe at the 
branch comes out in here and then fades out like this. Who knows? Try to cover most of the background here. We don't want that sky showing too much. Okay. Something like that. That's good enough right there. Continue using the same color. Let's go in here a little bit. And the branches will be split here and this area a little bit like this and then maybe some branches are fading out here somewhere like this okay and add a few more in here and maybe a little bit in here like this for our first layers, that's good. Okay, now we have a first layer of this color, right? Now I can move on to the next one, this lighter one. All right, and do the same thing. You don't need to clean your um, artist sponge. Doing the same thing. I'm going to go over some of them and add a little more detail. Okay. And I'm not adding it everywhere, but on some of them. So maybe there's some right in here, maybe a little bit in here. Okay, and maybe here, you know, because it fades into that um, lighter color, we wanna add a little bit in here on top. that and maybe some in here all right in here I want to kind of fade it out That's good enough. Let's add some in here. Now this area is gonna be pretty dark, but why not add some of this color in here, right? Why not? Not too much maybe in here. And have it fade out like this. And a little bit in here. Something like this, that's good enough. All right, so we got our first few layers done. Now I'm going to put my sponge in the water and I'm gonna make some more colors. Next, I added um, a little bit of black and hooker's green here and white straight from the tube. I'm gonna mix with these colors so I will continue using the color. You see, I don't let none of the paint go to waste. So I'm gonna give it another shade, right? Another light shade. And the reason why I added white onto this one is because since this is the bright area, 
I want to add some of the lighter ones going up a little bit in here. Okay, that's why I added that light. And actually, it's looking um, a little green still, so I think I'm gonna add a little more white to this color, okay? Okay, right here, we wanna make it uh, bright. We don't wanna make it too dark. We wanna look faded. That's good enough right there. Okay, and so that'll fade in nicely to the top. And then our next color here will be pretty dark. And the reason why I wanted that is because I want darker, some of the darker areas, you know, in here. So let's quickly mix all of that. It's okay if a little bit white or this color comes in here, that's totally fine. We just want a little bit of a darker color, something like this. That's good enough right there. Okay, now let's do the same idea. I'm gonna clean it out real quick and squeeze out my artist sponge so it could be damp again. And let's start off with, since we have the light color, let's start off with the lighter one right here. Okay, lightly pick up this color and let's just add it in to the sky and have it, you know, kind of fade it like, like this. See what that, that does? That gives us, you know, a nice fade into the background. Like a, it's like kind of foggy up there, right? So, so I'm gonna add a little bit of this in here and have it fade to the top. Maybe not everywhere. Okay. And have some in here, maybe. Okay, that's good. And I want to add this light one also in here. Okay. Like I want to gradually go from light to dark. So I'm gonna take some more of this color and maybe even add some right in here. Maybe some in here. I'll stop right there for now. I don't want to overdo it. So that's good right there. Let's continue and let's use the dark color now. I don't need to clean my um, sponge. I'm going to use the same idea and now I'm going to start adding the dark. So I'm going to start with this corner here first and I'm going to add a little bit of more of the darker areas. Okay, something like this, but not too much, not everywhere. Maybe there's one right in here. Okay, and then maybe you see it's naturally creating that nice dark color there. Okay. Lightly, press lightly here to get the some of the lighter ones right in here. So. OK. 
Okay, that's good. Right there. Maybe some in here. For now, that's good right there. Now this area is going to be pretty dark. So I'm going to dim some of this area here. Maybe leave some of the background here, continue that dark color, and have it fade out like this. Okay, moving on, let's add a little bit in here. That's good right there, not too much. And I want this to be pretty dark in here as well. So I'm gonna go over and like I said don't worry about the background trees they're gonna be darker and this is our base coats okay and I think I'm gonna I'm not gonna do it too much with this sponge because um, I'm gonna go and use the other brush to create some details but I'm getting a like an idea right I'm putting my first layers here so a little bit more here, maybe some darker ones, right? From this tree, right? Right in here. That's good right there. And in here, I want this to be dark as well. Okay. Maybe add a little bit in here. Something like this. All right, so we got our quick sketch. All right, quick sketch of our branches and things in our sky, right? You see, we didn't cover the whole sky because I like that glow and the colors that we added, right? We don't want to cover everything, but we do want to have a nice, you know, area where you see a lot of the trees and stuff. So now let's, um, what we're going to do first is now start adding the branches, right? We're going to add the branches, go over the trees, and then we're going to add more of the, of the details like this using the sponge. Um, and also before we actually, um, you know, add more details, what I like to do and this is kind of fun, is get one of my blending brushes right here, right? And I'm going to dab it in the water lightly and squeeze it out. And you can squeeze it out um, almost completely, right? We just want it to be damp. And use maybe this, a little bit of this color right here with a damp brush that we cleaned like this, right? And I'm going to add a little bit of that blended in in some of the areas and it creates a nice like it takes away the um, you know the it makes it transparent to the background colors and it takes away the the light of the um, you know makes the trees more softer transition to the so it won't look so strong you know so we want to add that effect in there so I'm barely taking this color with some water and I'm adding that right in here and it's okay like I said if you cover 
um, part of your trees, that's fine. See what that does? I'm gonna do that right in here, right in the middle, and not everywhere, but where the, you added the dark areas, mainly, because we want it to stand out, make it stand out a little more. So a little more, and I still have some water in here, so I don't need to worry about maybe some in here, about dabbing it in the water. right in here and I'll stop I'm not gonna go up in here too much and lightly blend those in together not too much all right See what we have here and what we created. There you go. Before we add some branches, I decided to first work, remember from the furthest distance up to the closest, we got the sky and we got the shape of our trees and a rough, like a rough draft here. Now let's detail some of these background trees because they're, these trees are, you know, more in the background these four than this one this one's going to be the closest so we will add the details here you know last but let's um quickly add in some more details on our tree these four and then this one next so what i've got here is burnt umber okay and then gray and white just a small touch right and then same thing burnt umber here orange and a touch of white and then burnt umber scarlet and then lamp black so i'm going to mix that in and it doesn't have to you know be exact amount like mine but just eyeball it and um and uh, see what it gives you so this will give us a lighter color but i think i'm going to even add more white to it because i really want to fade it out i don't want it to be too dark i want to you know i want to really fade out the, this area right here but I think what I'm gonna do is actually add the white right here and then I'll play with these colors okay so I'm gonna leave that there move on to my next color here I want some color you could see I added orange I'm trying to get a little more color now into my trees you know right in here so <clears throat> and then our final color will be very dark you know, that's what we'll use for our details. That's good enough right there. Okay, with these, between these colors and then the white here, I'm going to um, play around and, you know, detail my trees, okay? Let's quickly do that. So I'm gonna pick up my number four brush here, dab it all the way in the water and squeeze the water out, make it nice and damp. Now let's start with this further one right here. Let's, let's start with this gray right here. And I wanna make it a little bit gray. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is use a little bit of this white and fade that out. Have it fade out. You can see I'm barely pressing. So I'm gonna dab my brush in the water a little bit so it can run smoothly. You wouldn't want too much water, but that's good right there. And fade that out. And then here, I'm going to take a little bit of this color because I want this to be, have some color here. Okay, like this. Maybe even 
take part of this darker color in on this side and this darker color right on this tree like this see and it fades out like that to the to the lighter colors here and that's that's good enough right there we'll obviously add more detail to it but for now that's good enough let's continue and add some details to this tree okay we'll do the same thing let's start with I'm going to clean my brush real quick and I'm going to start with the lighter color so I'm going to use part of this white and this gray and then I'm going to just have it fade out like this have it fade out And I want to add the, this lighter color here. And then I want to darken, start darkening it. So I'm going to dab my brush in the water so I can run some. Take this color now. And I want to add some color now. Roughly add that in there. And bring it down and then now I want this other color here this darkest one now I'm going to really darken it and it's okay if you you know cover the branches because that's remember our first layers quickly add that in there okay Dab my brush in the water and dab it onto the paper towel and lightly blend the color here. just adding a another layer onto our tree doing the same thing here let's start with the lightest color which is the white take part of that and then add it have it fade out somewhere in there and then once you get down lower use this color And of course, move up and then use this nice color here. And let's just add that. Something like this. Okay. And then this is where it really becomes dark. So we're going to use this dark one and cover all this in here. really cover it don't worry about making it perfect you know something like this all right there you go that's nice all right and then this one now i want to add a little bit of the bl uh, black to this tree because i want it to really make it darker I want this one to be the darkest so I'll show you what I did so I added a touch of black I'm going to take you know part of this mix it in with the black and it'll be even darker that will be very nice for this closer tree here so something like this so I'm going to change my brush to number eight because it's bigger so I'm going to dab it and do the same thing start off with let's start off with this color have a 
have it kind of fade out, maybe a little bit of white. Right, a little bit of white. And then and then as you go lower. Now we're still sketching and getting you know more details. Um, now let's go to this one of our tree, but we will come back and add smaller details later. Let's just okay, and then our final darkest color here. I want to really make this stand out, so I'm going to use this dark color right in here. Maybe not everywhere, maybe skip some. You know. And dab my brush in the water and onto the paper towel and then Now I'm going to switch my brush to number four again, because now I'm going up higher. And I'm going to dry it out onto the paper towel. I'm not going to picking up any color. I'm going to blend everything in with my damp brush lightly okay, and lightly. Don't press too hard, but lightly blend it all in. something like that now I want this to be darker in here too so I'm gonna add a little bit of the something like that okay and then do the same thing here all right maybe around here make it a little bit darker All right, okay, now, now let's do the same thing here, but let's add a little bit more black and mix it all in right here, this color that we have left. Take all of it and mix it in with the black so it'll give us a darker, like darker brown color. And let's pick up our number eight brush, clean it out, and then dab it into the paper towel so it won't be too wet like this. And let's start with the dark color. Let's just start it with this color here, and let's add it all in here. You know, maybe skip some. And you know how trees are. Maybe it's it looks like that. Let's take some of this color here and let's add it right in here. You know, put it all in randomly like this. And then I'm going to switch my brush to number four and add the lighter color. This one right here. Right in here. This one's the closest one. You want to add some 
depth to your tree so I'm adding some of the areas you know skipping some and kind of following my pattern that naturally happened for me using this color right here and I'm going to lightly add some right in here and then maybe fades out into this darker area here okay Now these are still our first layers, so it's not going to be exactly perfect. So I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to add a little bit of this darker color. And on this edge right here, I want to make it a little darker. like that okay so maybe here light details here with the black bark you know we're adding some details and bark to our tree and then have it fade out do the same thing here Barely pressing and have it fade out, not all the way. And same thing in here. Before I continue adding details on the trees, I'm going to take part of this color here and mix it in with the white. Mix it all in. And I want to be able to create a lighter gray color and like this. And with this uh, sponge, I'm going to squeeze my sponge here. I want to create, you see how this was gr a little bit green here? I want to create this tree color and bring it kind of out a little bit outwards like this. Okay, bring it outwards like this. So it's still like um, you know following the pattern of the of the tree, you know, the color of the tree. So maybe even take part of the, a little bit of the darker one and kind of okay something like this basically want this area to be bright all right now let's what i'm going to do is now mix some colors so let's pick up our white make sure palette knife is clean and add white and then lemon yellow and take part of this leftover paint here very small amount okay and mix it all in we don't want it to be too yellow so I might actually have to dim it down by adding some more um, some more white in there okay but that's that's a nice color so I'll add a little bit more um, this could be good here but um, I, I just want to add a you know lighter branch color you know on the I mean bark on the bark 
So I'm gonna add some more white and we'll mix it all in and add more details. So right there, let's mix it all in and make it a little bit more lighter like this. That's nice. Okay, that's good enough. And what we're gonna do now is pick up our flat brush here and take this color and let's add, let's start with this one. Let's add, you know, create patterns. You know how bark is. Okay. Add all these tiny little highlights to the bark. Maybe let it come down like this. it in the water and continue adding the bark something like that and same thing here let's do that with the same color basically having it fade out not everywhere maybe it feeds out in here like this okay and then here I'm going to change the color because I want to you know make sure it's not all the same yellow color so here I'm gonna make it a little bit more towards gray so I'm going to add a little bit of white and take part of this gray and maybe this color here. Let me take a little bit more here. Mix it all in. Okay, something like this. That's good right there. All right, maybe 
you can take part of this. So it will have a little bit of orange, but not too much. Like that is good. Using the same brush, I'm gonna clean the yellow out a little bit and then dry it on, onto the paper towel and use the same technique and idea and create, you know, these are, so it starts very small right here, so you can dab it here, you know. But then it, um, you know, becomes a little bit bigger here. But continue lightly dabbing it, you know. And then as you get lower, they get a little bit wider. Okay. Maybe even, you know, the patterns go like this. Maybe add some in here to this tree here so I won't feel alone. Like that. Let's add some green over here. So I got emerald green, a touch of white, and some lemon yellow. And I'm going to take part of this, not too much, and mix it all in. Maybe bring it here. I want it to be like a, so maybe more yellow, bright green color. Like, you know, maybe there's a little bit of that moss growing there maybe a little bit more i think i'm gonna add a little bit more white too i'm gonna add a little bit more white so right there just a touch of white i don't want it to be too bright something like this it doesn't have to be exactly like mine okay that's good enough and we're gonna do the same idea with our flat brush we are going to clean it out, dab it into the paper towel, and start by adding this color here from the top by lightly dabbing the corner of our flat brush. And yeah, move, move, move it around. Don't have it be the same, you know, like don't have it flat down straight, you know, move the move it around all so it could all look like you know 
uneven. So maybe it, it comes out like to a V shape here, you know? So V shape here. Obviously, as it comes down lower, you'll see more little details on the tree. it in the water a bit and then continue clean my brush and then I decided to add a little bit of this gray color here and I want to fix this area right here so maybe some white so I'm gonna add a little bit more white and the reason why I decided to do that is because this tree I saw that I don't really like the shape of it I'm gonna fix it you can have yours as as it is if you like it but this part right here I want to Make it a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna clean that out, use a little bit more white, and add a little bit of that white color. Maybe in here, you know, I'm going to clean my number four brush. Maybe in here it and take part of the white, just the white, nothing else. Make sure you don't have too much water. And I'm going to fade that out, blend it out a little bit with the white. 
to create that nice glow. I want it to fade out like this. Okay, there you go. And then maybe a little bit in here as well. I don't want this to stand out too much. So with the white and the number four, taking away a little bit of the darker tones. Okay, maybe even some in here a little bit. It just, what, it, that, what this does is it cools it off a little bit, the colors. See, you might not notice it too much, but it makes a big difference because we want to have these trees as background trees. We don't want them to stand out too much. And then here, I'm gonna add a little bit of the white and then fade in this areas right in here. I don't want this to be too dark. And something like this, okay? So I'm gonna add a little bit of more white and I'll, I wanna brighten this area right here. Brighten this area. Of the tree with the white. Okay. See, it creates a nice, like, circular look. good right there for now Now quickly, I'm going to add another layer with my number four this time and this darkest color right here. And I'm gonna add a little bit more detail, you know, like dab it in on some of these areas. I want my tree to stand out a little more. Lightly dab it in. And let it fade out. We'll add more detail to, you know, our trees, but I'm um, adding little details here and there. And then once we get closer to, you know, to getting our branches and everything done, we'll come back to this part, okay? I'm sketching it out first. So I'm gonna dab my brush in water and do the same thing. Use this darkest color here with water. And let's create, you know, our patterns. This is bark, right? So,
condemn some of these in here because they're in the shadow. So we don't want them to be too bright. But something like this for now is good. Okay. That's good enough for now. Dim this side a bit. We'll add more layers in a bit. So let's continue doing the same thing. Maybe there's a little branch that has, you know, a couple of branches that have shadows from this faraway tree and it fades out like this. Okay, that's good enough for this one. We don't want to overdo it. I'm going to dab my brush in the water, use the same color, and create some details on this tree. It's going to fade out somewhere over there. You could use your finger to kind of blend everything in. in this area a little bit like this something like that okay that's good enough there for this tree all right moving on to the next and then we'll be off to adding some fun branches Stop right there. I don't want to overdo it in here. Okay, that's good right there. And our final one. that's good enough I will 
come back and add more details later. But for now, let's call it good for these trees. Okay. Now maybe there's some trees right in here, like for example, maybe there's a tree right in here and it goes up and fades away. Right in there somewhere. All right, that's good. Now let's continue and add the branches and then we're gonna come back and add more details, okay? So I've got black and burnt umber. I'm gonna mix that in. That'll be our color for the branches right in here. And then also I want a, a little bit lighter color. So there you go. I'm gonna take part of this, okay? Put it right in here and take whatever left of these colors mix all that in it doesn't really matter we want a lighter gray color okay like this maybe even lighter so i'm going to add gray so a touch of gray and mix it all in that's good right there we have two colors and now we can use that to for our branches. Finally, let's pick up our detail brush and dab it all the way in the water. And let's start with this darker color here, right? Swirl it, you know, dab it in the water, the brush, and then swirl it here. And then let's continue adding this tree member. I'm gonna make this one. fade out. So I'm dabbing my brush in the water. I'm barely pressing the canvas. And let's add some branches on this tree here that we just added. I'm barely pressing, so you can even attach some of them. And this will take a little bit of time so I'm using this color, okay, this dark color. And whenever I'm gonna switch, I'll show you. But for now, I'll take some time doing detailing this tree. Dabbing my brush in the water. There's a tree right behind it like this. Something like that, okay? Very simple and fast. And now let's add a few more of this, these little branches. What if there's a tree? I'm gonna dab my brush in the water. What if there's a tree right in here? Some skinnier 
branches, maybe. Okay, dab my brush in water. Let's add some in here. Let's add some branches right in here. Quickly connect some of them, maybe. This goes out like this. here quickly you know follow your patterns fade it out continue adding your branches here And then here, we will continue using the same color, maybe here. There's a couple 
couple skinny ones, you know. that very lightly. Let's continue. Now we're coming up right here. And I'm going to add one that is dark. It's going to go up like this and kind of swirl down, maybe fade out right here. This one attaches here and comes out like this and then and it breaks here and then fades away like this somewhere. basically connecting all these little branches. Maybe there's one connected here and it goes. I'm constantly dabbing my brush in the water because it runs smoother on the canvas, okay?
Okay, once we added the branches that we want on our tree, you know, um, a quick sketch right here, we can add a little bit more details of our branches using our number four brush. And I'm gonna clean it out, dab it on the paper towel. And remember this gray color here? I'm gonna work with this gray color and add a little bit of that in here. But I'm gonna use a little bit of water, so I, I don't want it to be too dark. So you can see I dab my brush in the water and I'm gonna, you know, create a little bit of the branches around here you know following some of these maybe even using my finger a little bit and then you know fade it out a little bit here and fade it out okay trying to make it look softer same thing here Add a little bit of the branches here, some leaves, but I want to make this a little bit gray in here. Faded. Fade that gray into with the green and the darker colors lightly like this. Okay. See what that does? Let's continue doing that maybe in here. Remember some of these branches here. Maybe they have a little bit of this color in here. Follow your branches, make them look like little leaves.
make it look softer here.
now I'm going to switch to number eight and use the dark one here. And I want to add some dark, some dark branches here on some of these. Make it more, you know, follow my patterns. Make some of these stand out a little more. Same thing here. I want to add a few darker ones in here. in here. Bring some of these down. darken some of this underneath here.
Okay, once you're done doing that, I added lemon yellow and hooker's green. I'm going to mix that and get a darker shade of green, right? That's what we want. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of white on here to neutralize it a bit. So right here, some white. I'm going to mix that in and get this green, right? Okay, and I'm going to use my number four and use this green and add some branches, little detailed colorful branches here. You see how that works? Creates like a highlight. on some of them, not everywhere, but on some areas like right here, I want a little bit green maybe in here. Kind of fading out in here. Okay. Maybe in here a little bit. And then maybe in here. Some of these you see how that looks nice when we have a bunch of fun little details like that. Okay, and then we'll continue adding that effect here. I want to add some right in here and then maybe some in here, you know. Skip some areas, maybe add it a little bit in here. If it's too much, you can clean it with the finger like this. Now let's add some of that green in here because I like that green glow. Okay. Have it fade out. This area can be the way it is. And then I want to add some red in here. That's good enough right there. Okay, so we added that nice touch of green, right? Creates a nice like glowy look to it. Now to get a nice smooth effect, right? I want uh, some glowy effect here and here and maybe a little here. I'm gonna use my blending brush, dab it all the way in the water and squeeze most of it out. So it could be damp, right? And I have just the white, nothing else but the white. Take a little bit of it, don't take a lot, okay? And with that white, we're gonna create a nice glow effect. So cover part of this tree, and we're gonna create some glowy effect. You see how that works? I'm barely pressing, and I'm gonna add it right where I want the glow to be. Maybe you even bring it down a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna do that, continue taking a little bit, and I don't need to dab my brush in the water because it's still wet, right? But I wanna lighten some of these areas a little bit, so. I'm 
go into dab it and then really brighten this these areas where I want the light to glow maybe in here a little bit as well okay lightly all right I want that foggy look that's why I'm doing this so I'm adding it a little bit more in here that white and I'm having it go a little bit inside maybe even in here you know and then take a little bit more in this area I want it to there and I'm going to cover some of the branches because I want them to glow so I'm going to blend that in there you see how nice that looks and blend it out like this don't be afraid of covering a little bit it'll really make it stand out better if you do actually so I'm going to dim this down a bit and then carry that all the way out like this and bring it all the way down in here okay you could see that glow effect doesn't cover everything But it does a lot, it does a lot, as you can see. So once you're done adding that nice smooth, you know, glow effect with the blending brush and water and white. And I also, you can do the same thing, but with a darker color, like a black color and go over the dark areas. Like just go over some of the areas like we did earlier, right? Um, you know, to really give it depth, right? That's what we want. And so um, now it's looking more like realistic, right? So what I'm going to do here is add some highlights to the trees now and add a little bit more detail and we're almost done with this piece so i added white here and this green that we have left here or you can add lemon um, lemon yellow and a little bit of um, the hooker's green but if you ran out of this green but i just want to add a little bit of it not too much maybe a little more okay mix it in you'll get a nice light green okay that's good right there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my um, half an inch brush clean it and then take this bright color that we have mixed and on this side I'm going to really make my tree more defined Okay, adding highlights is important. And you can go as high as as high as you want. Maybe that's good. I'm not gonna go all the way. I'm gonna let it fade out like this. Add some little details, you know, the bark. Okay, something like that. Keep going. And go 
all the way down. Now we're adding a little bit more details to our bark, as you can see. Right, that's good, I like it. You could see how bright the light is hitting that tree, right? We like that, that's what we want. And you can fade it out and obviously the bark becomes a little bit bigger here. And have it fade out somewhere in here. Okay, that's good enough for that tree. Actually, maybe a little bit more in here. Like that. Okay, now let's do, let's add the highlight. Let's add it in here. And the reason why we're adding it on this side is because these trees are giving the dark shadows on this side of the tree and this area where it's very bright you could see this foggy area is reflecting onto this side of the tree so i'm going to add that light glow onto this side of the tree all the way down and kind of fade it out as you go up. Okay. Something like that. Okay, we'll continue using the same color. I'm gonna dab it in the water and I'm gonna add a little bit more detail in here. little details really make your painting stand out very nicely so take your time take breaks and it's gonna fade out here somewhere That's good enough for that tree. This one, I'm gonna add a little bit, not too much. I already like it the way it is, so. Put 
going to add it only a little bit right here and have it call it good let it fade out into the shadows okay that's good right there and then our final tree we'll add a little bit more in here Maybe even add some far away highlights lightly. And then the last detail, I would like to pick up my number eight brush and then lemon yellow here and take part of that with water. You can see I'm not taking too much. I'm gonna go over some of this tree. I wanna make this stand out like maybe the moss on the tree, right? but I'm not gonna go over too much because I like that white color, but I really wanna make this tree glow. So I'm gonna create that, you could see, and then just have it fade out like this. Okay, with this color, it'll really make it nice and glowy looking. All right. lightly go over that and then maybe some here and fade it out like this all right you see how nice that looks and I'm going to do that maybe a little bit in here very lightly have it fade out like this okay and then let me do that here maybe a little bit. Okay, and then on that one, on the last one, same idea, not too much. And have it fade out like this. Okay, you can see the nice glow, that green glow, the moss, maybe even dab some in with this and maybe maybe there's some you know very bright ones in there who knows okay I'll be done for today you can come back and detail the branches the tree you know really make it as detailed as you want this is a you know like a quick sketch of this scene looking up to the trees now 
you can take a break. If you like it, you can leave it. Or if you want to come back to it the next day, it's all about the little details. Add more layers and shades and um, do the same thing over and over until you like it. Okay, totally up to you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for being here and tuning in. Um, please be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell button also that'll notify you when I post a new video. Stay tuned for more. Take care and God bless.